Hello everyone, I'm Carissa and welcome to the channel. If you ask Perth locals of what they think of Northbridge, then the word nightlife will probably spring to mind. But Northbridge is more than nightlife. It's a melting pot of cultures where migrants from around the world are here, happily converging, making Northbridge a truly multicultural society. So please stick around as I'm going to show you why Northbridge is the center of culture here in Perth. In the past, you'll only find a handful of cafes here in Northridge. But over the years, the coffee culture and coffee scene here has grown tremendously. So whether you're after a skinny latte, a cappuccino, or a macchiato, you'll find them almost anywhere in the streets. Laneway cafes like the Flora and Fauna. Corner coffees like Lulu, Lala. <laughs> and cafe in hidden laneways like the Giant and a hole-in-the-wall cafe, how convenient. And the best thing is, Northbridge is just within minutes from the Central Business District, so you can easily walk here and get your coffee. Now, the difficulty is choosing which cafe, I mean, they're all very good. But for today's video, I want to feature a cafe that's been close to my heart for many years now. Welcome to Chet's Cafe, run and operated by Chet and his wife from India. one of the best things about Chet's Cafe is that Chet's wife make really good breakfast and it's vegetarian, vegan friendly and gluten free. It has a beautiful outdoor seating, very European vibe. You can read the paper, have your coffee or watch people pass by. Living the life, guys. I also love the indoor sitting here at Chef's Cafe. It's so comfy and it's so private. So if you're looking for a very good cafe that provides good value for money with a relaxed and friendly atmosphere, then come and visit Chet's Cafe the next time you're in Northridge. If Binondo is to Manila, Haymarket to Sydney, or Gerard Street to London, then the Chinatown in Perth is located right here in Northbridge. Not as big as your other major cities in Australia, but big enough to say that we have a strong, vibrant Asian culture here. This is Chumwa Lane, guys, and as you can see, the shops are still closed, but from five o'clock, most of the shops will be open and it'll turn lively and vibrant. So perhaps we'll come back then and have dinner here.
And if you're in Northbridge for brunch, lunch, or even dinner, then the choice is endless. From Sri Lankan to Malaysian cuisines, Thai to Vietnamese cuisines, Northbridge is really a cultural feast for the senses. But every time I am in Northbridge, especially on the weekend, I always have a soft spot for dim sums. Come and follow me. We're now in front of Canton Row. It's one of the best dim sum restaurants here in Northbridge. Located just in front of Rose Street. Now, Rose Street is the street that divides the city of Perth and Northbridge. So let's go inside. So I've chosen a couple of dim sums here. We have the uh, bean curd in vegetables, the prawn dumpling. I think this is siu mai. It's made of pork and prawns. And you also have um, steam bun with a pork barbecue, sweet part pork barbecue inside. And I think this is a uh, Shanghainese dumpling. So let's go dig in. delicious. <laughs> I really love Yamcha and I want to eat some more guys but I am so full I think I need to walk this out which is perfect because our next segment is we're going to do a bit of walking I'm going to show you a couple of street arts here in Northbridge let's go And if you're into street art, then Northbridge is also renowned for its vibrant murals and graffiti walls. Here is a perfect example commissioned by the city of Perth back in 2017. Northbridge is also home to Perth Cultural Centre housing the Perth Institute of Contemporary Art or PICA, the Art Gallery of Western Australia, the State Theatre of Western Australia, and of course the Western Australian Museum Bula Bardip. Bula Bardip meaning many stories in Noongar language. And just a quick reference and acknowledgement, Noongar refers to the indigenous people who are the traditional owners and original inhabitants of the southwest region of Western Australia.
We're now in the corner of William and James Street and the building behind me, it's an icon, a symbol of Northbridge, the Brass Monkey Hotel. So let's go check it out. This building was originally built as the Great Western Hotel. It's one of the most lavish hotels ever constructed in Perth during the gold rush era of the 1890s. And now it's converted into this iconic, charming pub serving locals, interstate travelers, and tourists for many years now. Thank you. Cheers, everyone. Refreshing. We're now back here in Chunua Lane. Some of the restaurants are now open. We're gonna have dinner here and drink, guys. Thank you so much guys for watching and supporting our channel and for those of you who have newly subscribed and tune in, thank you. I hope to see all of you again in the next episode of Western Australia, The Feeling is Magic. Till then, stay safe and be happy. Bye bye everybody. Cheers. <laughs>